Hey everyone, it's Mike here, Global Voodoo, and I want to talk to you today about uh, a couple different things. Uh, first off, I want to show you guys some items here that literally sold within 24 hours on eBay. We're going to go over these items here really quick. There's not a lot of them here, but they're good items that if you're out and about and you're thrifting or garage selling or flea marketing or whatever it is, be on the lookout for these. And then also, stay tuned to the end of the video. We've got a little bit of an announcement here. So with that being said, let's see what we do today. So all these items I'm going to show you guys today are items that I picked up at thrift stores and garage sales. Um, this item here is a Nirvana Hormoning CD from 1992. This is a J Japanese import. It's got six tracks on it. It looks very, very similar to the original Nirvana Nevermind CD. And this is just one of these things, guys, where some of these CDs can bring some really great money. I paid 10 cents for this at a thrift store. Um, the person obviously didn't know what they have. It's a, it's a little mom and pop thrift store. It's not a Goodwill. It's not a name brand chain. And that's where I think you're going to find a lot of the deals at. you got to understand how these thrift stores work. This particular thrift store, they get a lot of donations, but they also get a lot of stuff they buy from storage units and buy out of states. So this one here didn't last long. Two hours, and we got $32.42 shipped for it. A lot of times with uh, companies and individuals, you got to build relationships. This is part of a relationship I have with uh, a kind of a smaller thrift store that's in my general area here. When they get video game stuff in, they call me. And um, this one here, I walked in, they had a bunch of video game stuff, and I'll show you some other things I sold within that same day from the same pickup. But I saw this there, and I'm like, okay, I know what this is. It's a Sony PS3 PlayStation. It's the White Council, 500 gigabytes. I fully tested it. It works. And... Um, Took some photographs of the TV screen so people can see exactly what was on the hard drive. Because a lot of times you, I don't just always erase it. I leave it, the stuff on there because people want maybe some of the games that are on there, etc., etc. Anyways, guys, I paid $15 for this and it sold literally within three to four hours on eBay for $100.65 shipped. All right, this next item here, this came out of a thrift store too. It was a bundle with some of the video games here. These always sell and a lot of times they sell better than the systems themselves. This sold within four hours of me posting it. Nintendo Wii Remote Plus OEM Black Motion Controller with the cover and nunchuck and tested. I got $21.27 shipped for it. I had $2 in this game here. It's a New Play Control Pikmin Nintendo Wii 2009 Complete, which is pretty much the case, the artwork, the disc, the manual. Tested and works and uh, sold within uh, with overnight. Just Woke up next morning, it was sold $21.07, shipped. Here's another game I had $2 in, and this one's kind of a sleeper, guys. I mean, if you see this, pick it up. You know, it's, uh, I think it's under, <laughs> it's it's undervalued when you look at it, thinking, oh, it's just a $5 game, but it sells. Wii Sports Resort Wii 2009, complete tested and works, and literally sold within a half hour of me posting it on eBay for $18.95, shipped. Here's another one that just flipped within about five or six hours of me listing on eBay, I've got $2 in this game. Again, it's a video game bundle. Uh, Mario Party 8, Nintendo Wii from 2007. Complete, tested, and works. Got $21.60 shipped for it. This one sold within four hours of me posting it. Had $3 in this Duke Nukem Forever Balls of Steel edition for the Xbox 360. It was complete with the box, the bus, the, everything that came with it brand new. So I just uh, threw the game in really quick. It was working. So I said, let's do this, right? <laughs> threw it up there and it uh, sold. Um, $39.95 with free shipping. So I've been really staying away from crew neck sweatshirts. Uh, at least from my end, guys, uh, the market's dried up. And um, I mean, obviously, if you find something that's obnoxiously cool and obnoxiously rare, they sell. But um, back in the day, I remember flipping just any sports team crew necks for 30, 40 bucks, just basic ones. Now you can really barely give them away. This one was a little unique. I paid a quarter for it at a garage sale. It's a Phoenix Coyotes NHL Lee Sport Gray. Nicely embroidered vintage crew neck sweatshirt, size large slash extra large, and uh, just sold right away. Boom. It went international. We got $29.33 shipped for it. Paid $1.99 for this at the thrift store, and you can tell when you find a good item on eBay is when you start to see, after you list it, that it's, it says it's trending, um, it's got reviews, and if you do a best match search on your item, it comes up pretty quick. So I knew this was going to sell. I knew when I bought it that this thing's just going to kind of fly off the shelf, and it did. Google Chromecast, first generation HDMI streaming TV internet. It was brand new, and um, it only took like two hours to sell on eBay. Didn't get rich from this here, but it's this little money like this that adds up. I keep talking about this on my channel. Um, these these smalls add up, and then you know the home runs they come in. 
you got to have a mixture of all of them there to kind of keep everything afloat. So not too bad. $18.95 out the door. Here's another one that came out of that uh, video game bundle I got at the thrift store from my buddy. This uh, is just another one of these items here, guys. It's kind of better to sell it complete. And I think when you can sell complete, especially in an off-season, which I think the off-season's you know, you get the prime season is Christmas for video game stuff. You know, the, the price in the fourth quarter, these items go for a lot more money than they typically do, um, unless you've got something really rare or scarce or scarce, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this is a Nintendo Wii White Council NTSC, and I always put the model number there, RVL-001, complete tested and works. And what this does is when you, when you search through the... Um, when you're creating a listing and you put, you know, hey, I'm, I'm selling a Nintendo Wii, you want to get it where it pre-fills that data for you, right? So you get the reviews, you get stars, you get all that type of stuff. And the price point I had here was, no joke, based on comps that were active at the time of me posting this, people were selling the systems very similar here with all the, the, the components and all of the cords and blah, 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 blah for about $39, so I'm like, you know what? I've been doing this for a while. I know that there's a little bit of a market there. And, you know, my, the eBay store we were selling under has got good reviews. It should bump and best match if somebody's looking for it. And we're going to sell this. And it literally sold overnight. Uh, we got $56.95 shipped for it. All right. So I saw this at the thrift store. I paid $2.99 for it. It's a Rebel uh, USS Constitution ship model plastic kit. Um, brand new in the box. It was just sitting in the thrift store. I'm like, okay, this guy worth some money. So I just whipped out my phone, just entered in what it was. And I'm like, okay, there's a market here, right? So I bought it, but I wasn't thinking that this thing was going to fly off the shelves. Um, just because there were some other active listings that are out there. There was a couple listings that were cheaper than mine by five or six dollars, you know, total. So I decided, you know what? It, it's, I got a good picture here. I got a good reputation. I think I can command a little bit higher price. And that's what I did. So I threw it out there, and we got $29.95 shipped for it. Picked these up for $2 on half-off day at the thrift store. And I, I was looking at them, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, you know. <laughs> um, but this is the type of Tommy Hilfiger jeans that I'd actually pick up. A lot of them I do not pick up. I, don't, I just pass on them. Um, I think the brand's overhyped. I think it's just a... It's, it's, obviously, the rarer pieces, the... Some of the shirts and the polos and the jackets, stuff like that, that those are a little bit more desirable. The jeans are kind of hit or miss. But I, I said, you know what? This I've sold these before in the past. Let's give it a whirl. I didn't think these would sell, and they sold within about six hours of me posting them. Again, there was other comps that were out there where people were selling these for $22 with free shipping. Tommy Hilfiger jeans, 90s carpenter, big flag, vintage denim, men's jeans size 38 by 30. And these sold for $37.13 with free shipping. So many of you might not know, or you might know, I'm not too sure, but um, I own a website out there. It's called pickforprofit.com, and it's a membership-based educational learning for reselling and flipping and all that good stuff. Um, we've been around for about seven years, lots of content out there, but one of the things that we did um, with the group, uh, the, our paid members back in 2017, was we were running auctions. We were, we were testing the market and seeing what well, if we could provide other resellers uh, opportunities to buy items to flip to make money and um, it, it went very very well we did about 30 to 40 auctions um, I got other resellers involved and it was just overall a fun time people got deals on items that either they wanted to resell or they wanted for them personally but I, I think it was just one of these lessons where I wanted to try something different because at the time there was auctions on YouTube or, or really even on Facebook they were just breaking into it, right? At the, especially on Facebook, YouTube, I didn't see anybody auctioning off really anything. And if you know me, I love an auction. I love going to auctions. That's the one thing I do miss living here in Arizona, that there really is no close auction to me. There's, a, I got to drive an hour or so. Um, but in Illinois, when I lived there, I mean, there was one we would go to every week and, you know, I'd bring the family there. It was just a good old time and finding deals and looking at opportunities going, why did that go for so much money? You know, or why didn't nobody buy that? And then um, it's just the whole fun of it. I think when you're a reseller, um, when you're doing this business, whether it's eBay or Amazon, you know, you get that that fix of, oh, you know, I, I, I got a deal on this. I bought this and I, I'm going to sell it for this. And then there's another sense of joy when it sells, right? Then there's the sense of selling things, you know, and... Um, you know, if you're doing like Facebook Marketplace, it's fun when your phone beeps and you're like, oh man, this guy wants to buy my item. It's just, it's the beauty of this whole entrepreneurial type uh, 
working for yourself, creating your own income, that's just amazing about it. So um, what I decided to do um, recently, guys, is to, uh, to start dabbling back into these auctions. And we're going to be showcasing some of these here on YouTube for you guys that are watching here. Um, we're we're going to have all different types of stuff, a lot of collectible type items, a lot of stuff that's that could be flipped, a lot of things that uh, a lot of you guys in my previous videos are like, hey, Mike, I want to buy that type of stuff. So I'm, we're, me and Kim are going to do this, and we're going to start this Friday and run auctions every Friday um, on Facebook here. Now, if you are interested in checking it out, you can go to pickforprofit.com forward slash auctions, and we have kind of like a, like a photo gallery there where you can see what we're going to be auctioning off. But, uh, you know, this is not going to be an auction where we drag an item out. We're, you know, um, if you, we like to do things quickly. So that's how our auctions are going to be moving. Um, not only with the live auctions, we're going to be doing um, some auctions that are like the typical auctions you'd see on a website, you know, where it's like, a, like an eBay, a mirror of eBay, where you're seeing bids and stuff like that coming through. So we're going to be messing with that here in 2020. Also got some big plans to get others involved. So um, it's going to be a very interesting time here because uh, I, it's something I've always wanted to do. And I think it's now I just got to get it out of the shadows, got to get it out of the, the, the little circle I had before and kind of launch it here publicly. publicly. So um, if you guys are interested in that, I'd really appreciate you joining me and Kim. It'll be this Friday, the 21st at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. There will be a link up at some point where you can just click on the video and just click the alert. It'll notify you when it goes live. So definitely look forward to seeing all you guys there on Friday. And, uh, you know, it's like I said, it's one of these things where, you know, we're going to try something different and uh, we're going to have fun with it. And that's what it's all about. All right. So I've got a bunch of stuff here that uh, is already photographed and you can check it all out, guys, on my website, pickforprofit.com forward slash auctions. There's a lot of neat items in here that are going to be auctioning off. There's a lot of collectible items. There's some vintage toys. There's records, there's video games, all different types of stuff. And we're going to be running these auctions every week. So definitely stay tuned. And if you want to stay updated on when the auctions are happening and what's going on with all that, again, check out my website there. And uh, with that being said, guys, we're going to have some fun Friday. Me and Kim, we're going to be auctioning off some coolness. Maybe you can get a prize or two. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Peace.